Dr. Cook here again for MS200. We're going to do an introduction to offensive operations. All right, so the offense, there's some characteristics about offenses. All right, four things that characterize it is surprise, concentration, audacity, and the tempo. All right, that we want to do things the enemy doesn't expect. We want to get as much force massed into uh, a, a spot as we can to overwhelm the enemy. We want to do something that's a simple plan that we execute boldly and it's audacious. And then we want to have a good rate of military action and control the tempo to make what we want as an outcome happen. All right, I've got a little clip here to demonstrate what we mean about audacity. plan. All right, types of offensive operations. We've got four types of offensive operations we can conduct. All right, movement to contact. All right, that's the way that we develop situation. We find out where the enemy is. We, we you know, make contact with them. Maybe we break contact or we keep it for some following reason, but we want to find the enemy. All right, attack itself is to destroy those enemy forces, seize the terrain, secure the terrain, get on that. That's attacking. All right, exploitation is when we extend that destruction, right? So we had some success and we keep up that offensive pressure to uh, defeat more of the enemy. And then pursuit uh, comes after that exploitation, right? So if there's any enemy that are trying to flee or get away, we go after them, pursue them, uh, and defeat the enemy uh, completely, all right? So those are the four types of offensive operations. At the platoon level, you're only going to do one type at a time. All right, these are things that go together, but this isn't a single mission for your platoon, all right? These are different missions that you're going to get. All right, and in this course, we're mainly looking at the attack, all right? So we've talked about the four uh, types of offensive operations, and from now on, we're going to talk about how an attack happens. All right, the sequence of an offense, so there's some doctrinal information here that talks about conducting an offensive op by gaining and maintaining enemy contact, find out where they are, then disrupt them, slow them down, interfere with them, fix them in place, all right, get them to stay put, maneuver our forces around them, and get uh, use our maneuver warfighting function, and then follow through, right? So we defeat them, and then we continue to go after them uh, and finish off the fight. Now that's kind of the doctrinal sequence of how a total offense happens, all right? So when we're in an attack, there's some phases that we can get into that. All right. At the platoon level, we can talk about phases of a mission. So we got five of them. You might plan and prepare for your mission. And that includes your reconnaissance. All right. And then phase two is our movement up towards the objective. All right. And then phase three, we're going to isolate that objective. All right. We're going to cut them off from their friendly forces and make sure they don't have contact or the reinforcements can't get there and isolate our objective. And then we've got actions on the objective where we actually assault onto it, destroy the enemy, consolidate um, and defeat the enemy on the objective. And then five is our reconsolidation and, and transition. So when you're at Buckner, you might have done ACE reports. We find out who's up. We get uh, everything reorganized on the objective itself and then make sure that our plan includes the transition to the next mission. All right, we don't just defeat the enemy. We're at the LOA and stop. All right, we have to actually transition into the next mission. How are we going to do that? What happens after we are done with the enemy? All right, that's phase five. All right, so there's some forms of maneuver for the attack. All right, so this is that doctrinal part of Agadap about our templates for how we can conduct these things, right, or different courses of action. All right, first one is uh, envelopment, all right, and in this case, we're looking to um, not go right after the enemy's main defense. We send some small fixing forces up there to keep the enemy distracted. We're going to send an enveloping force around the flank somehow. All right, to go get after the enemy that way. All right. Next one is a turning movement. All right. The key thing to a turning movement is we are going to kill the enemy somewhere else. We are trying to get them to relocate out of their positions, uh, whether that's because we put a little pressure on them to push them out or we send some other force out behind them that makes them want to go out and attack us somewhere else. So we pull them out of their defense and then we can have our fight on the train that we picked instead of where the enemy started from. 
right? infiltration. This is one where we don't really shoot at them. All right, we send some forces up on all different routes and we try and be undetected. All right, we find the seams and the gaps in the enemy line and we push forces through there to maneuver around into some other spot and then we can initiate attack later. All right, penetration. All right, this is, we're gonna punch a hole in the enemy and we're gonna do it on a small piece of the terrain. All right, so we got some shaping operations. It might be to the sides of that or other places along the enemy front to keep the enemy uh, in place or keep them distracted from what we're doing somehow. And then we get our large force and we put them into a small area and punch a hole through the enemy to get ourselves onto the objective, all right? Narrow front into penetration. Versus a frontal attack. Here we've got a wide front. We're attacking across the entire front edge of the enemy everywhere. All right, we're making a push to try and bulldoze over them. Now, there's two ways this can, this can go. If we have a smaller enemy force, we can actually bulldoze over them and destroy them by doing this. All right, we just attack from the front and roll over them. All right, but if it's a larger enemy, all right, that's not going to work. Right, we're gonna we're not going to have much success doing that. But that is a way we can fix a larger enemy force. Right, so we won't be able to necessarily get through them, but we can attack across the entire front and keep them in that location dealing with us while some adjacent unit goes and does something somewhere else. All right, so we can fix them in place. All right, so that's our introduction to offensive operations. Um, see you in class.